defendant and the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage? What's up, fight fans? Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about boxers in the game right now, Gervonta Tank Davis. But we're not here to discuss his crazy knockouts or his lightning fast rise in the ring. Nope, today we're focusing on what went down when Tank hit rock bottom, prison. Yup, we're talking about how everything changed for him the moment those bars slammed shut, and why it seems like his life has been spiraling out of control ever since. So, what really happened to Tank Davis in prison? Let's get into it. Before we even get to what happened inside, we gotta rewind a bit. Tank wasn't exactly squeaky clean before his prison stint. He had already been catching headlines for all the wrong reasons. Legal troubles, fights outside the ring, hit and run cases, and, of course, that messy fallout with Floyd Mayweather. Things were already starting to crack around the edges. Hey, Devante, what do you have to say about the charges against you? You was charged. You got nothing to say. Guys, come with me. I'm your Did you punch that woman in the face? You got nothing to say. Right now, 430 of boxing. Remember, Tank was once the crown jewel of Mayweather promotions. Floyd Mayweather himself groomed him to be the next superstar of boxing, but that relationship went south real quick. Floyd eventually let him go, and without that guidance and protection, Tank started slipping. The bad decisions began piling up, and it all came crashing down when he found himself facing serious legal heat. And then, boom, prison time. Hey, the, the... the moment Gervonta Davis was sentenced, it was clear the situation wasn't just about serving time, it was a major wake-up call. You know how some people come out of prison stronger, more focused, ready to take on the world? Well, Tank wasn't one of them. Prison wasn't just a physical confinement for him, it was a mental one too. Tank has always been a hothead in and out of the ring, but when you're behind bars, all that energy gets trapped. And when you're a guy like Tank, used to being the man, the center of attention, the star of the show, being locked away can mess with your mind big time. Sources say that Tank had a hard time adjusting. Imagine going from being a millionaire with access to anything you want to a cold concrete cell where you're just another number. That kind of shift hits hard. When Tank finally got out of prison, people were expecting one of two things. Either he'd come back focused, ready to get his life together and reclaim his spot in boxing, or, well, things could go downhill even faster. And sadly, we know which one it was. So it definitely raises the question, what happened to Tank in prison? According to sources, Tank got involved with some pretty bad guys during his time in jail. Rumor has it that he fell in with the wrong crowd, trying to survive the harsh reality of life behind bars. These weren't just any inmates. They were known for their violent tendencies and criminal connections. When he walked out of those gates, Gervonta didn't seem like the same tank everyone remembered. Sure, he tried to put on a front, smiling for the cameras, making it seem like he had things under control, but it didn't take long for the cracks to show. Almost immediately, he started getting caught up in more drama, more legal trouble, more fights outside the ring, and more controversies that had fans questioning if he'd ever be able to bounce back. Let's talk about what happened next. The moment Tank got out, it was like trouble followed him. There were rumors that prison had left him more paranoid, and some say that paranoia is what led to some of his decisions after he got released. He was reportedly convinced that people from his own circle had betrayed him while he was locked up. People he trusted either turned on him or took advantage of his absence. He's a snake in a suit. That's all. Ooh. He's a snake. Are you talking about Eddie Hearn? Bro, he let, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Connor Ben. Connor Ben test positive and was still going to let him fight. Mm. Still was going to let him fight. Dillian White fought after he tested. Yeah. Who? Dillian White. Dillian White. White. After test of positive, he, see, I didn't even know that. Bro, he's a snake, bro. He's bad for Would business. you fight Connor Ben? Yes, if he off that shit. On an Addy Hearn show? Hey, Tank. Huh? On an Addy Hearn show? Or does it mean No, because I, I can't trust Addy Hearn. You can't trust Addy Hearn. You can't at all. He's a snake in the suit. Tank has hinted in interviews that he feels like some people set him up, but he's never really given names. But one name definitely comes to mind. 
Floyd Money Mayweather. We know Tank started taking a lot of shots at Floyd after the prison thing. So there's got to be a reason why, right? Not long after he got out, Tank found himself at the center of another major controversy, a federal raid on his house. Federal agents stormed his home, and what did they find? Illegal firearms, drugs, the whole nine yards. It wasn't just a minor bust, it was a full-on raid that shook up Tank's world all over again. The thing is, Tank was there when it all went down, so there was no playing dumb, no saying, that's not mine, the evidence was everywhere and the feds weren't playing around. He was arrested on the spot, adding even more charges to his already complicated legal record. What the hell, bro? Uh, you know, they put it All right, so what, what, what's your side of this? It's like he couldn't catch a break, or maybe he just couldn't stay out of trouble. And if you thought the gun charges were bad, we've still got to talk about the hit and run case that's been hanging over Tank's head since 2020. This was no minor fender bender either. Four people were seriously injured, and Tank allegedly left the scene without offering any help. Right now, the case against local boxing champ Gervonta Davis is in court. Police say Davis was the driver in a hit-and-run crash in Baltimore that left several people hurt. The crash happened in November 2020 at the intersection of MLK Jr. and Washington Boulevards. The police report says Davis's Lamborghini ran a red light and hit another car. Davis faces 14 counts of various traffic violations, including hit-and-run. Fast forward to post-prison and this case is still haunting him. Every time he shows up in court for this, it's another reminder of how far he's fallen. Even if he somehow gets out of these charges, his reputation is taking major hits. Now, if all of that wasn't bad enough, let's dive into one of the most damaging controversies that came after Tank's time in prison, the sexual assault allegations. These allegations have surfaced more than once, and while his legal team is doing everything they can to fight them, the damage to his reputation is done. There's even footage of Tank allegedly assaulting his ex-girlfriend in public, which doesn't exactly help his case. Fans, critics, and even other fighters are wondering if there's any coming back from this. Yeah, I think I, I see you, I see you. All right, so we're going to hold on before we get into it. I want to introduce Vince Padre, all right? Not to mention Tank distanced himself from Floyd, the same person who took Tank's career to the next level. You just know Floyd wasn't too happy when Gervonta Davis switched up on him all of a sudden. Well, my thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan. And my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful constantly be disrespectful when all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.